Hey guys, welcome to another long time review. Today I'm going to try one of these Artisan Bistro uh, burritos. This one is the Egg, Cheese, and Uncured Bacon Breakfast Burrito. These were $2.50 at Kroger, so if you got a Kroger near you, that's where you can get them. Contains no GMO ingredients, no nitrates or nitrites. Made with cage free eggs, no artificial colors or flavors, 15 grams of protein. Made with organic cheese, eggs, and tortilla. That's good. Let's see how many calories in this cookie. Okay, it is 310 calories, which I don't think it's too awfully bad. There's the um, other stuff for you. Um, you can see it has organic flour, organic eggs, cheese. Bacon bits, uncured cooked bacon bits, organic potatoes, organic tomatoes, 2% or less of that stuff. Okay. So anyway, let's see the direction. The directions will end this fold. They're going to work with it a little bit. So you can put this in the oven. I don't know many people that heat up burritos in the oven, but there they are if you need the directions. So we're going to do it in the microwave. So remove the burrito from the package and place on a microwave safe plate. Flip side up, flap side up, sorry. Microwave burrito for one minute. Uh, flip the burrito over and microwave for an additional 55 seconds. Um, and then let it rest for one minute before eating. So, I don't know. Sorry. It gets removed completely from the package, so I don't really care if I tear it out. So it takes like your typical burrito. So I'm going to put it like this, flap side up. I'm going to take it out of the package, of course. Put it this side up first, one minute, and flip it over, and then another 55 seconds. And I'll be back when it comes out. Okay, here it is out of the microwave. I let it sit for a minute and then I cut it just to, so I can hold it up and it also lets it cool off. So this one, um, you can see the eggs. I'm assuming that's bacon up there at the top. It kind of looks like bacon. Uh, plenty of eggs and looks like a potato. Um, I don't know if it's a potato. I think it's an egg. I can't tell what it is. Um, it does tend to stick to the paper plate. So you might take your knife and just like um, scoop it underneath, like cut underneath of it just to get it unstuck. But you can see, um, looks like the peppers. Is that peppers or tomatoes? That's probably tomatoes. I don't see peppers on here. If that has tomatoes, that's what the, the red is. Or it could be bacon. So anyway, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna cut it up into smaller pieces and uh, or just let it cool off and I'll be right back. All right, hopefully it's cooled off enough. Um, I'm going to bite into that somewhere. I don't know where yet. It's cool off enough. I get the flavor of the bacon mostly. Um, it's got a good smoky bacon flavor. The bacon is not a really crispy bacon. It's kind of a chewy bacon or um, I call it a fatty bacon. It's um, it's cooked where it's not crunchy. So I like it that way. But if you don't if you don't like soft like chewy bacon, you won't like this. You'll you'll want it uh, you want it crisper than this, and it's it's not. And it's all kind of a um, it was soft bacon. Tell you what, you get bacon all through there, though. I got a little bite of that tomato. You can you can taste taste the, a hint of the tomato. It's mostly egg and bacon. That's what that's what you mostly taste in this thing. It's not bad at all, though. It's uh, it's actually pretty good. It's um, is it worth two fifty? I don't know. If you're if you're really into the organic, you're worried about the organic. You want um, you know the the GMOs and the nitrates and nitrites and cage free and all that if you if that's something you you you're concerned with then this is a good burrito to eat it's a good um it's a good breakfast burrito nothing wrong with it at all it's nothing spectacular or super special or anything like that it's just your basic egg and bacon burrito so um take that as it is i think it's okay um, it's not spectacular flavors but it's not bad flavors either so i'm going to give it a three it's just your average burrito so, um, so yeah, but like I said, it's more important that not necessarily the flavor, but it is really good for, um, if you're looking for all of the organic and all that stuff, because there aren't a lot of options in that. And if you're looking for that kind of thing, this is a really good option. So, so yeah, but I personally flavor wise, I'm gonna give it a three. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.